Hi and welcome back to Automotive Solutions. Today I'm going to be examining a throttle body problem on a Mark 7 Volkswagen Golf. It's a 1.4 petrol TSI engine 2013. This vehicle uh, was brought to me in limp mode with no throttle response and I scanned the vehicle and got two codes from the vehicle and those codes are P0122 and P0222 so throttle valve position sensor signals too low on sensor 1 and sensor 2 so I examined the vehicle and using a, a oscilloscope checked for uh, voltage and earth at the throttle body which was both which were both present i then looked at the signal coming out from both the position sensors and both position sensors had no signal on them whatsoever um, hence the code the, the computer was displaying the correct code saying the signal was too low because it was, it was reading zero um, unfortunately i didn't capture this on video but I've got the throttle body because the customer supplied me with a second-hand throttle body, which I put on and it fixed the problem. So I'm going to see if there's anything I can do with this throttle body to work out uh, whether it's fixable for a future reference or, um, you know, it's a, it's a throwaway item or one that can be you know reconditioned. Uh, by a specialist company, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to take it apart and uh, and see what's going on. Let's see if I can find anything with it. Um, I've drawn a little wiring diagram of what's inside the throttle body. So it's a six wire sensor. Uh, you've got five volts, five volts coming on this pin, and that shares five volts to both the tracks of the throttle body. On pin six, those two tracks are both going to earth. Pin one has the first position sensor, pin four has the second position sensor, and the remaining two pins are for the supply to the motor um, to open and shut the uh, bat five valve. So yeah, I'm going to see what I can see what I can find inside this. I'm going to take it apart and uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm just going to try and zoom you in Ooh, on the part number so you know if you've got a similar body. So it's zero, is that a zero or a Q? I think it's zero three F one three three zero six two B. That's the first digit could actually be a Q but I think it's a zero um, so yeah that's the part number of this throttle body and it's held together with some sprung steel clips No more left on there, so this should, yep, this should lift off with a bit of luck. There we go. I'll try and make it so you can see it. Okay. So in here, connector there and there for the motor, which correspond to the two spade terminals there. This is going to be part of the position sensor running on this track here. If you move the butterfly valve, yeah. Okay. So there's nothing electrical in there that I can really uh, look at. So we've got 
this piece here, obviously you've got your six terminals connecting to your wiring loom there. And looking in here, there's six tracks there. The two bigger ones are going to go to your motor, which leaves four going to the these four go into the circuit board in there. Um, the circuit board is a separate part of the plastic housing. So it's, let me zoom in a little bit, see if I can get a better, get you a better look. Let's just see if I can balance this. Yeah, so the lower four tracks there's a connection between the plastic housing and the circuit board. And there's four very, very thin wires there. What I'll do is I'll take I'll take some still photographs and zoom in and then see. I don't think this camera's capable of um it's not too bad. Of really getting a good focus there. Reflections and stuff. Looking at the rest of the board, there's no water damage by the looks of it. Yeah, no water damage, but looking at the tracks there, they look they look very, very fragile. Moving very easily. I'm just wondering what well, the there's a bad solder joint on there. I'll just take I'll take some still photos and I'll put them I'll put them in this video and then uh, I'll get a magnifying glass and see what's going on. It might be something as simple as one of those is broken because one of those if it's a five if it's a five volt feed or the earth it will affect both tracks. So um, you'll lose you'll lose signal on both uh, just if one of those is broken. So yeah. Let me take some stills and I'll put them on here. So as you can see from the um the photos, the um it's definitely a break in the wire in there. Um so I'm gonna uh I'm going to have a go at soldering that and then I will um, I will power the power the throttle body with a 5 volt feed and see if I can measure um, a signal on the position sensor or, both, or position sensors I should say so yeah I'm just going to see if I can solder I'm not going to film soldering that it's a little bit intricate and um, but once I'm done I'll come back and uh, see what the results are So I'm just going to do a check with the ohms on the uh, multimeter, a continuity check. I've got the bleeper set on the meter. I'm just going to see if I can um, verify if one of these tracks is broken. The first one's good. Uh -huh. Second one's not good. Yeah, if I touch the little wire, yeah. So that wire's broken. The third one up. Same thing, but touch the wire, yeah the wires the wire's broken off. And then the top one has got continuity. So the the middle two pins are pin two and four. Well two is the five volt feed, four is sensor two. So lacking the five volt feed, you will not get a um a signal from either of the sensors. So yeah, definitely a break there. Uh, so yeah, see if I can sort of solder this, and uh, I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so I've done a bit of soldering. And it's not my greatest effort, but it's uh, I think it's worked. So on this bottom one, I actually had to 
soldering a new piece of copper wire to bridge across because the, the, the wire that they use is so delicate as soon as you move it around it snaps off so um, on this one here it's, uh, there's a piece of copper wire across there now you can see that works next one up that one works third one up that works and then the top one that works okay so I'm going to reassemble it and then uh, see if I can test it. Uh, just out of interest, this was my first go with the uh, the, the Milwaukee battery-powered soldering iron. And uh, I have to say, it's pretty impressive stuff. Uh, it was hot enough to melt solder in about 15 seconds. And um, yeah, no complaints there. A little bit of practice required to get used to how powerful it is, but um, yeah. Did the trick. That's the number there if you're interested. But yeah, nice bit of kit. Okay, so I've got the uh, throttle body back together. I've got uh, two channel scope on there, monitoring both the uh, sensor outputs. I've got a 5 volt uh, supply here, which I've doctored to hold the button on when I want it on save me having to keep my finger on there um, so yeah press that button and uh, see what we get on the scope okay so that's me supplying 5 volts and let's move the uh, throttle butterfly there we go. And both tracks are working together. So yeah, happy with that. Um, so yeah, these sort of bodies are repairable, a bit fiddly. To, uh, to solder in there um, but yeah it's definitely fixable so pretty straightforward repair really uh, and I know they cost I think it was uh, well over £500 from VW if you needed one of those so I'll keep hold of this one in case I get another handy one to keep spare and yeah hopefully that's uh, of interest to you guys and uh, if you like this Click on like if you want to subscribe. Subscribe and I'll hopefully be producing some more content soon. And uh, catch up again. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.